Alrighty YouTube, what is cracking? Matt is here for RC Anonymous, if you haven't already figured that out. It's generally Matt here for RC Anonymous. Um, channel update time ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to be 100% serious to this whole video. There will be no sarcasm whatsoever and we're going to have lots of fun. Right. First things first, channel update. This is where the GOM is at. Everything just went fully halt because I was waiting on gears from RC Mart. I'm very undecided with the GOM build, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I like it, but then I'm just, I'm just worried about things and I don't, I don't want to make a big deal. You know, you don't want to rag on something if there's no point on ragging on it. I think the plastics look and feel great. I'm going to compare the plastics on these. Very similar to like your hub carriers and that on um, the Pro MT 4x4. Mm. Right ho, so we're going to start, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to just do your good old fashioned unboxing, RC Mart order. Always remember the points so you can get a few cents back from your order. So we're going to crack this open. And this, I'm filming this, just so if anything is wrong in this box, I can be like, ah, Seema, you forgot something. Bam. It was opened almost live on YouTube. Well, not live at all on YouTube. Anyway, that's a lot of padding. Can we see in that? Yes, we can. They do well with their packaging. I've got to say, RC might do alright with their packaging. Except if it's wheels and tyres and they stuff your Proline tyres in a box that's too small and then your foams go and you end up with a flat spot on them. That is a towel for another day. Alright, we have some shit here. Okay guys, so what have we got for this GOM build? We'll start with that. We've got the titanium grey skid plate to match the titanium grey pumpkin protection. Lovely. Alum aluminum, aluminium shift fork. Okay, hardened steel gear. That's a 16 tooth. Excuse my long nails, but I actually need them for RC, so yeah. There's another gear. These are all Junfuck gears. <laughs> yes, that's a questionable name, but that's what that is. Hardened steel. I'm gonna have to count. There should be seven. One. Ooh, there's another one. Yes, you can all see them. We, we covered these in another video. If you're not sure, just go back and find the other video. I don't sort them very well, so it may take you some time. And there's the last one. I really hope I got all this in. So we've got all the gears. We've got the skid plate. We've got the uh, alloy shift fork. We've got the alloy titanium gray rear shock brace. And for a touch of class, the alloy slipper plate. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's like a billion degrees at the moment in Queensland, Australia, because it's like the storm season, so it just goes stupid hot, stupid cold. I'm in my garage and I'm sweating like a mofo. Like, I cannot stress how much this sucks. And I'm probably gonna wait for the kids to go to sleep tonight and I'm gonna go steal the kitchen table without my wife knowing because I'm not allowed to use the kitchen table anymore because I don't pack up. And I aim to have this built tonight. I have the, uh, the Monster Import. These seem to give you a bit more kick in your bottom when you drink them. Just like that. Lovely. What else for the GOM build? Let's talk the GOM build. It comes with some awesome shocks. Well, they look awesome. They sound awesome. Here's a bit of a screenshot for the GOM shocks. Very interested in them. But I sold, oh, I sold the SCX-10 and I removed some parts because at the end of the day, for what I got for it, it didn't matter if I had every little goodie on it in the world, I was just not going to get much more than that $300 mark for that vehicle. So why sell it with all my good shit when I could just sell it with, you know, still working, still fine stuff. But honestly, I just wanted to keep some bits off it, like my... Uh, King Shocks. Now if you look at them and look at that, what's them up there? 
I had good offset on my SCX10, ladies and gentlemen. These are an offer RS4 HPI. So I had them all front and rear. Now these King Shocks actually came from my RR10 bomber when I had that thing. I didn't like the RR10 bomber, ladies and gentlemen. I did not like it. I killed like seven servos in that. Thus, I didn't like it. So I got rid of it, but I kept the shocks because the King shocks really worked. They've got like an Intergy Super Soft. I think I'm about a 35 weight in there. They are just, they're lush. I like them. I'm going to use them. The heart and soul of the GOM, there was much debate on this. I was just going to get my stuff and I'll put a Tekken 30 in it and I'll put a uh, crawler brush 1080. And I was like, you can't do that when you're doing a YouTube build. So we pretty much we sold the SCX-10, went into mild to wild, and I picked this, the number X, with the baby 1900 KV, the 1406. All right, this is a 2S rated vehicle, everyone. We'll just keep that in mind here. So I don't want huge speed in it. It's a, for me, it's a crawler. It's not a... I'm not going to be racing it or anything. I'm going to be trying to make it crawl. And the idea is to make it crawl better than a Wraith or a Bomber. Is it doable? I don't know. I'm seeing a bit of mixed thoughts and that on the GOM out there at the moment. Seems like they uh, didn't really think some things through. But I will cover that when I come across those issues when I build more than just what's built here. Next on the agenda, what happened to the Pro MT 4x4? We all remember, excuse me for a sec, had a rear bearing seize in this diff housing, absolutely munting it. A main came to the rescue after three weeks or something, and I have the diff housing, everyone, and it came with heaps of seals, and I'm yet to even figure out what those little tiny ones are in there for. I guess we'll find out. I can't remember seeing them when I redid the diffs and I them. But that was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What else has been cracking? Well, we've been using the uh, Yamugan Seeky shims that are falling out everywhere. Yamugan Seeky shims. Thank you very much, Rich, for this, Mr. Duper Bash. These guys are in my Outcast diffs and uh, external shins by Kyosho. Now I figured out the, what the cracking noise was in that outcast and it was, I had too much side to side movement in the rear diff housing and what was happening is this guy was probably moving away from the dirty finger pinion as displayed here and it was probably just separating and going <laughs> Right, four of those uh, 0.15 Kyosho shims three crown side and one the other side fixed it for me. Do not just assume that that's the magic number because my diff cases were over a year old. Everything wears different. You might need two. You know, you might need 17. I don't know. You've just trial and error. Five was too many. Four worked perfectly. And we ended it there. Right. So I am, I am like, I don't know if you can, you can see that. I am sweat. that just came off my forehead. I am sweating profusely because Queensland sucks. The humidity sucks. It's nothing like the ads, I will warn you on that. If you wanna have a lovely holiday to Queensland, you're probably gonna rock up and it's gonna piss down rain, flood, or it's gonna be a bad storm or something's just gonna be wrong. <sighs> right. It's probably the strangest channel update I've ever done, or you've ever seen. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I will, while I've got you all here, if you've made it this far. I would like to do, I've seen other people do this lately and I think it's an absolutely great idea. So I'd like to give a few shout outs. These are um, awesome people and channels. And uh, yes, I've wrote a little list. This is in no specific order. This is no favoritism. And if I've forgot anyone, I am so sorry. I um, just let me know if I've forgot you and I will make amends in my next video, but I think I've got everyone. Or the sort of the main people that regularly comment to the channel and input. So first, we've got Rich Duper Bash, we've got RC Bash in the Creighton, we have RC Fun, we have Kenny Mile Per Hour Milenko, we have 
Now, I think it's Goliathan, and my missus reckons it's Galthane. Okay, sorry, brother. I'm All right, Galthane, Goliathan. Yep, you're there. We've got George or Speed Freak, which is AKA Pav Racing, if you need cap packs, people. Okay, we've got RC Ritter. Oh, Ryder, maybe? Um, I don't know. We've got Eric the Red RC. We've got Trent Marlowe. Pain in the RC. 12R1. We've got Camo RC. Stew Dog Stew. We've got Kizzle Garrett, the RC Freak. Love your attitude, brother. Frankie Mao. Tom Lee. Baker Boys RC. We also have Huge Micah 79. And um, I'd also like to take a minute to thank once again Malta Wild RC to Rana Hells and Markor RC Designs for the fabulous pieces I have on my Typhon. And I'm also, I guess while I'm here, I'll also give a shout out to uh, A Voltage Hobbies, Castle, Hobby Wing, um, and Proline too. I love your tyres, Proline. I love them. Don't love the bearings in the Pro MT 4x4, but I certainly love your tyres. Um, righto, everyone, that's it. Channel update for the 13th of the 2nd of the 2018. Um, Matt out for RC Anonymous. <laughs>